it's just a very addictive perfume hey guys i'm rachel if you're new or returning welcome or welcome back i do fragrance beauty and lifestyle i hope you stay to the end everything i speak about will be listed in the description box along with all my other social media platforms i'd like to have you over there as well Today I'm getting into some of the best, amazing smelling Arabian perfumes. Arabian perfumes are pretty affordable. They usually check all my boxes, longevity, they smell amazing, they're affordable. You can find them on Amazon. I will list them in the description box. I feel like based on the price alone, every woman should have one or two Arabian perfume in the collection. I have a few, so I wanna run through it really quick because I don't want this video to be very long and I probably might do a part two because I have a whole bunch of Arabian perfumes that I love. So let's hop into the video. First we have Latafa's Fakad Rose. This is a sweet, juicy white floral. There's tuberose and jasmine. The dry down is sort of woody and musky and you get a lot of the vanilla in the dry down as well. It's creamy and bright and it opens up sort of like fresh and citrusy and sort of fruity this is a great quality perfume and it is a dupe for l'entredit um givenchy i do own l'entredit by givenchy and they are a close close match it's very sophisticated it's feminine and you can find this on amazon for like 25 dollars. it's just an overall beautiful perfume and it's one of the perfume that doesn't really give me middle eastern arabian vibes faka rose by latafa another latafa can you tell i like latafa they make perfumes well camera i finally got this in my collection and i get the hype this reminds me definitely of angel share but they are not completely the same there's just some similarities to it in my opinion and then every time i wear this perfume i get compliments since i got this perfume which is about a month ago i have to force myself from not using it it's just so delicious in my opinion i find camera to be a lot less edible smelling um and angel share is like warmer more booze it has more booze and it's of course more luxurious the so camera is like very sweet from the praline which i love praline in perfumes and there's also dates in here where it gets its sweetness and it's also a bit spicy with a hint of booziness it's just a very addictive perfume and when it dries down you get this really nice vanilla that comes through I just love this perfume. It's amazing and it's very well done. Now we have Swiss Arabian Shag of Oud. Now this is not a perfume for the faint of heart, okay? This is a very strong, very loud, very powerful rose and oud. And of course, very affordable. So like I said, it's a very powerful, very strong perfume and be advised because this is not for everyone. This is a perfume I would definitely want you to sample if you can before you actually purchase this because this is not a blind by safe perfume. However, if you're someone that loves sweet rose and oud, give this one a shot. This will last you forever because like four sprays would take you throughout the entire day. This is a monster. Shag of Oud by Swiss Arabian. Dalal by Al Rehab. Now Shag of Oud was not a blind by safe perfume, but I find this to be a blind by safe perfume. It's sweet caramel and vanilla. It's warm. It's cozy. It's creamy. Now if you're someone who do not like Oman scents, you may not like this one. But to me, it's pretty well balanced and I find it to be a great scent for transitioning from like summer nights into fall. I also did a transitional perfume from summer to fall i will link it in the cards for you to check out it's not a perfume that's very complex but for the price i feel like it's worth it and it's also great for layering to add some little sweetness to some perfume you feel like might be missing something again we have the lal by al rehab and i think this is about nine dollars on amazon so like what do you have to lose give it a shot now we have club they knew it intense woman by armaf now even though this says it's for women i find it to be very masculine leaning it's a very heavy rose and patchouli so if that's not your thing like stay clear of this perfume this is definitely not a blind by safe perfume however it reminds me of tom ford's um nor de nor it's like a dark velvety mysterious rose and there's little earthiness and woodiness from the patchouli and of course the oud this here is a perfume that's definitely for the winter time now i mean you can wear your perfumes whenever you feel like however you feel like but i find that when you wear perfumes in certain seasons it wasn't really meant for it could make or break you liking loving or hating that perfume because i've experienced that with mark jacob intense i wore it in the summer and i hated it and i picked it up in the fall and i felt that it was better for me in the fall i loved it better then so beware of that if you're someone who's into like wearing your perfumes based on seasons this is a winter perfume so again we have amaf 
Club de Nude Intense for women. Amid Al Aoud <laughs> by Latafa. Yo, these names, they get me. Anyway, I love, love this perfume. And I've layered it already with K. Ali's new release, Oud Vanilla. Perfect. So it opens up with a blast of sweetness. It's woody, it's smoky, and a creamy vanilla. I just love the sweetness in the perfume is the best combo of sweet and woods it's just it's it's done so well so the woodiness in here definitely comes from the oud but it's not strong at all and then the vanilla just blends everything so well and pulls the whole entire perfume together it grounds it so nicely you can tell this perfume is middle eastern but not so so much but you can tell if you liked um, Maison Magella by the fireplace, you should like this scent. It's in the same scent profile, but also even if you did not like by the fireplace and you find it too smoky or too woody, you can try this because this one, like I said, it has this sweetness from the sugar note in here that makes it perfect and gives it this nicer blend and makes it a little bit softer than by the fireplace but it is within the same profile if you get what i'm saying Again, we have our Maid al Aoud <laughs> by latafa and this is a projection monster and it lasts all day on your clothes what's a rainbow perfumes to do ragba by latafa <laughs> this is another sweet vanilla and oud but I find this one to be very beginner friendly. Like, if, like if you are someone who's newer to oud, this is a very beginner friendly oud. This is a place to start. It's a little smoky from the incense in here. It's like warm. It's calming. I heard someone say that this perfume has a religious vibe and I definitely get what I'm saying is the incense in here. It gives us like, take me to church. <laughs> but in a good way so it's like a incense vanilla wood but the dry down is sort of creamy because there's sandalwood in here so it brings out this creaminess in the dry down again this is a great introduction to middle eastern fragrances because it's not loud and in your face it's a great beginner perfume for those of us who are um, just getting into this Ooh. layers very well with angel of minds of course by killian or if you have the body oils from brown sugar babe check them out um, also oud vanilla by kayali and of course camera if you have it so here we have ragba by Latafa. now i'm not gonna even try to pronounce the name of this perfume i will put it on the screen but it's by Latafa. <laughs> this is a gorgeous caramel and rose have you ever heard of caramel and rose together this is beautiful it's warm it's spicy there's a lot of amber in the dry down and there's also some leather notes i didn't see it listed but i know there's leather notes in here this perfume is very balanced it's rich it's smooth it's luxurious and i find it great for latter fall into winter and there's something about it that gives me clean like fresh out of the shower sort of scent and i have it in the smallest bottle i can find the bottle is so cute because this perfume is gonna last me a very long time this is my second winter of owning this perfume and this is the dent I'm gonna have it for a while because a little bit goes a really long way with most of these Arabian perfumes. So there we have the name I cannot pronounce by Latafa. <laughs> so these are some amazing, affordable Arabian perfumes in my collection. Some of the best Arabian perfumes. I do have some more. Like I said, I may do a part two. Let me know if you want to see a part two. Leave a comment down below. Um, and that's the list. Let me know if you have any of these perfumes in your collection as well. And what is your favorite? So thank you again so much for watching. Like I said, I will link my Amazon store in the description box. So you can check out all of that in my storefront. Um, like, comment, share, subscribe, ring that bell. So you'll be notified whenever I upload a video. Follow me on all my other social media platforms. I'd like to have you over there as well. They're all listed in the description box. While you're here, have a look at some of those videos. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you again in my next video, which is every single Sunday. Bye, guys.